So we will now continue, uh, each of us, uh, just pick a few sessions among this uh, number of sessions which we would like to highlight and maybe uh, maybe we'll go there and, and see these sessions. Uh, uh, so my three picks, uh, personal picks, are my favorite topic, it's a keynote lecture, uh, which is in the final program on page 106, it's keynote lecture which will be given by Eske Bilerslev from Copenhagen, Denmark, dealing with the pile of microbiology. Uh, this is one of the most prolific uh, uh, researchers in the world. So in 10 years, um, he published 33 papers in science and 23 papers in nature. So in total, uh, 55 papers in science and nature in eight years. Uh, I think you should, uh, I think, I, I don't see I don't, I don't know anyone uh, which have similar uh, similar tracking record uh, uh, in these two journals, which are considered as the best journal in life sciences in the world. So he will actually speak about um, uh, his approach to the to the paleomicrobiology. It's not just simply taking the specimens uh, from the old graves and, and sequencing microbes, but in his research group uh, he has a multidisciplinary approach, collaborating with uh, archaeologists anthropologists, paleontologists, chemists, physics, statistics, and also with the philosophies. So as you can really see that uh, his approach in which tracking the microbes, he tried to track also the origin of the humans. Uh, uh, because uh, um, as you know, the infectious diseases was always the major uh, factor in reduction of the human population in the world in human history. So I think this will be one of the highlights, my personal highlights, uh, keynote lecture on uh, Tuesday uh, between 11 and 12. Then the second one, uh, it's also a keynote lecture, which will be delivered on Monday. Uh, it's on page uh, 87 in, in program book. It will be delivered by Jean-Michel Pavlovsky from Paris, France. Uh, and it's dealing with a new hepatitis B therapy pipeline. Uh, and he will try to address issue if how far we are actually from the cure of hepatitis B. Uh, as you know, in, uh, in the last 20 years, we first achieved a, a quite fair control of HIV infection by both treatment and now also with uh, uh, giving um, uh, uh, prophylactic drugs uh, in, uh, as, a, as a preemptive therapy. Um, and then uh, this was followed by Fantastic results of hepatitis C uh, when uh, in comparison with hepatitis uh, or HIV, where we just control uh, the HIV infection, here we really cure the patients with the new drugs uh, in more than 95% uh, in real life. And now it's the third on the list is hepatitis B. Uh, actually, this is the most frequent uh, among all the three. Uh, there are uh, more than 250 million people who are actively infected with hepatitis B. The majority of them require some treatment. Um, still, one million uh, people per year die because of consequences of hepatitis B. Although we have prophylactic vaccines, which is very successful, and also we have also um, good drugs to control actually hepatitis B replication. But what, uh, what Jean-Michel Pavlovsky will address is uh, drugs which are now currently in, uh, in different phases of clinical trials, and he will try to predict what is our possibility to really cure. Uh, our patients from hepatitis B. Uh, with the current drugs and with the current approach, we cannot achieve this. There is no way. Only in uh, less than 10% of the patients, but with the new approaches, with combination of different drugs, which will both uh, target hepatitis B uh, and also human uh, humans, uh, we believe that maybe with the investment of the, of the, of the pharma, which now shift completely from hepatitis C to hepatitis B, maybe we can achieve also cure of hepatitis B. So this will be on Monday uh, between uh, 1.30 and, and 2.30. Okay. And my third pick is a session about hot topics in hepatitis A to E. Uh, we have four lectures uh, about different aspects in hepatitis. Uh, traditionally, uh, major focus was always on hepatitis B and C, but in current years, a lot of um, Unexpected things happen in hepatitis A and hepatitis E, so this will be the actually uh, flagships, uh, flagship uh, sessions, uh, uh, presentation in this session, uh, looking on the recent uh, hepatitis A uh, outbreak in, in all around Europe, and for the first time we were actually able to 
with a multidisciplinary approach to real-time track uh, uh, actually hepatitis E uh, uh, outbreak among MSMs. And then uh, we also uh, have a very important lecture about hepatitis E, which also becoming now a very important disease also in Europe. Um, and it's also transmitted now uh, not only uh, by traditional route, but also parenterally. So I think uh, uh, I I'm kindly encourage you to come to this session. The session will be on Monday between 8.45 and 10.45, core topics in Italy is 8.30. Thank you very much for my side.